And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. All right, uh, I made a couple more uh, centrifuges with the lightweight PCBs that we're that I'm crafting right now. But in an effort to speed this up, I need where is it over here? I need a composite. No, no, I need an empty fuel rod crafter. Mm -hmm. I'll build a couple of those and a primed fuel rod mm -hmm. crafter. Uh, one of those should suffice. Uh, I made two of the the regular fuel rod crafters just because I want to build up a supply before I go down down with them. So this these take these this composite alloy that I'm making over here, right there, and it crafts fuel rods with them. So let's spit these out really quick. Okay, I need, uh, I have one, two of these. These 50 power per second on each of these. This is 100 power per second. Pretty, pretty steep price. Um, but I think it's fine. Let's not line this. Oh, that is lined up. Nice. Nice. Boy, did that without even trying. So, there's one. Okay. So, I'm going to want a hopper right here. I'm just going to use a small one because I don't really need... Oh, this is... No valid attached hoppers. I want a hopper there. A hopper there. Six. Okay, so it's six. Six, six alloy per fuel rod okay which is fine i'm not complaining but that's it's just a lot of alloy so i want i'm gonna have a huge storage hopper to load these up so i can get 200 at a time i mean 200 fuel can you imagine 200 fuel that is that's an insane amount of power remember one fuel one fuel gives you um, three million power. Okay, fill these up. There you go. I might have to double this up. Not sure how fast these are going, though. This is a little slower of a process than before. Okay, so I'm going to want a line. Is that lining up? It is. Okay, so this comes down. It's going to come down three. And it's going to go like that because we've got to go underneath here and then come down here. There it is. So this should get the power that it needs. What is the craft time on this? Five seconds? I don't think that's quite long enough. Oh, it looks like it is. Oh, perfect. That is perfect. So there is the empty fuel rods. Uh, let's wait for like 10 of these. Perfect. Uh, there's the empty fuel rod empty fuel rod uh, now we need the primed fuel rod uh, and the only way to prime it is to uh, go to back down to the toxic caves so I first want to collect any of those lightweight PCBs that we have since we're on our way over here anyway I want to gather those up so I can possibly make another centrifuge or two so that should be plenty there and let's see Think prime fuel rod crafter. We are good. I think we have everything I need. So let's head back down to the cold caves. Oh. Um. Yeah, cold caves. Yeah, I should build a a toxic teleporter. It would beat going back and forth 
on this setup here. So how is our... You know, we're still doing pretty good. And how is the cryoplasm doing? 100 and... Yeah, it's making its way. I thought it was going to come bust through there, but I guess it's going to go through there. So toxic. Here we go. I can build the two centrifuges that I already crafted uh, over here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Okay. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's... Wait. Let me recount that. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's better. There we go. And before I forget, uh, one, two, three, four, five, nine. Make sure I'm not gonna kill myself by building up. And now for the conduits. There we go. Power them up. This thing, there we go. There's the power. And we've already got tons and tons of uranium dioxide ready to go. So let's, without further ado, look at the prime fuel rod crafter we got four there four there let's build it right in the middle yes it looks like a lens polisher but this is 50 power per second which is very doable i'm not worried about that at all uh, let's line it up with one of these batteries so this is 50 power per second and we want eight uranium dioxide so let's just use a huge storage hopper and remove and another huge storage hopper and add and we can beam power right out of this and then down here so 50 power per second is nothing compared to the thousand power per second those things are demanding All right, there we go. Everything is talking to one another. So let's um, load this in here. go empty fuel rod of course uh, those are gonna go oh, okay I failed to realize okay put them here remove only and drop in the empty fuel rod this is 30 seconds craft the prime fuel rod and once we get a prime fuel rod we will have the ability for nuclear power you know I wanted to when I was making this mod I wanted to make it so you couldn't actually carry the fuel rod around uh, because there it is the prime fuel rod I wanted to make so you couldn't carry the prime fuel rod around that if you did you would get you know the radiation the little symbol over here if you can see my mouse little symbol over here for radiation I wanted that to go off and and make it like you know a two or three second death spiral um, but sadly there is I didn't see or find or know of any way to actually do that so there's two that's six million power right there sitting in that chest nice I might be able to get away 
with adding all of these up to this same system here. Um, but I need to add them to this side. There we go. Even more. Even more for the pile. There are quite a lot in each one of these. These just started. How is my uranium or my uh, yellow cake doing over here? Do I need one more centrifuge? Yeah, it, I might need another centrifuge. A fifth, a fifth centrifuge on each side would probably do that right. So I'm gonna flip this around so that empties out because I don't want any yellow cake in my inventory. And let's see if I can't build really quick. Uh, centrifuge, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to put one okay, and where is that? Did I take out? Yeah, I did. One, two, three. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I want a good size battery up here. And a laser to boot. should round out this side at least and get another turntable get this going there we go this kicks off should help process all of that pretty quickly. I'll have to look at my to look at my ratios again and see why those are not why four is not enough. Okay. Centrifuge. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and battery, laser, lens, fill it up. Add only. Remove only. What is so bright over here? Oh, I'm right underneath that light, and that's there. Okay. There we go. This one fires up. And we are good to go. Now we just need more. Uh, look at that. Ten. That's... 30 million power right there. 30 million power. That's a lot of power. It's going to come all the way out to here. I should not have used. Oh, I should not have used. And I'm out of small storage hoppers, of course. And I had just built like 25 of those things. I'm going to build 25 more. So we're going to build that and set this to remove only. Did I do the same over here? Bet you I did. Yep, I did. Remove only. 
Apparently. Okay, so I guess um, I need one here and one here. And let's see, let's uh, take that yellow cake. I think I had uh, like 40 on this side and like 70 on this side. I want to keep it kind of even. I think it's a good idea. Keep it flowing. And of course, I filled it right up. Look at that. We are processing so much. The biggest draw is, the biggest limitation is how fast I'm actually moving the material. And I think I could, no, I can't, I can't speed it up at all because I've got these hoppers here. I was gonna say I can come over the top and go down, but I can't do that. Cause then the limiting factor is how fast the, uh, the carts are unloading. So it's really kind of an unoptimized system. I wish I could have done it right, right against all of that. I'm not sure what that sound effect is, but it's kind of weird. So, now I need to go up and grab some more prime fuel rods. You need to die, you need to die. There's a few, there's a couple over here. Ooh, there was a bunch right here. Look at that! Anybody counting? Wow. That was a lot of organic rock. All right, well, now we're good on that. So I need now to bring some more empty fuel rods down. Well, I'm glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm building like 200 of those. And over here. How about my okay, all engines all engines are going. How about my power? Ooh, and it's going down. That's not good. That is not good. Not good at all. Uh okay. Might be overkill with. Hmm, I'm not sure what to do about that. We do have nuclear power that we can use, but I'm planning on using most of it for the cryoplasm defense, or at least a lot of it. So, how many do you think are done over here? I think we're full. We are! So, 200. 200 times 3 million. How much power is that? 200 times 3 million. 3, no, 6 billion power? 6 billion? Is that right? Oh, did I have some garbage on me? I did. Really? Is that six billion? That'd be six, one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's six billion power. That's a lot of power. Wow. And this, this is gonna, this is gonna run dry soon, uh, and that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad for me. Um. So I need to get some power here. Load this back up and let's see. Come over here. And where is. Really, I cleared that off too. Uh, the yellow cake, don't need that. Oh no, empty fuel rod. Boink, there it is. Now 
I'm not sure if this is just too many. If I need another one of these in order to process all these, because this is 30 seconds. So this is an. It's 30 seconds. It's 200. That is 100 minutes. That's about a little over an hour and a half. It's going to take to process all of these fuel rods into prime fuel rods. So I'm going to grab these 11. And since we are right there, we got freeze on and we got the primed fuel rods. So next episode, we will construct our very first nuclear reactor. And we will do so here in the cold caves because we need the power. Uh, and I might hook it up right underneath this bad boy right here because this is almost out of power. You can see the power out, which is weird. The power in is actually more than the power out. So why are we losing power? No, it's going back up again. Okay, that's strange. Anybody else see that? It must be because... You can see how slow these spin compared to my... the sweetness. Oh, it looks like our tier 4 stuff is basically back stuff. No, it's because this is full of molly. So I need to... I need to actually pull the molly. I need to pull, I need to split these two back here instead. Um, so while I'm thinking about that, I will do that in between episodes here just to make sure we are good to go. So that will do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.